first lesson is something that uh, we need to uh, remember the Apostle Paul had been bragging about the Corinthians. And as we go through, you'll notice some things that will come up here. He talks about the fact that uh, we get as good as we give. And he talks about the four real beneficiaries of our giving. And those are uh, the recipients that get the gift, God, the giver, and the church. So let us, uh, by the way, this is on page 1056 in your pew Bibles. So if you could bow your heads, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name. Please help us to get this word inside of us so that we can live on earth as they do in heaven. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The point is this. The one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work, as it is written. He scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seeds for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for your great generosity, which will produce thanksgiving to God through us. For the rendering of this ministry not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also overflows with many thanksgivings to God. Uh, through the testings of this ministry, you glorify God by your obedience to the confession of the gospel of Christ and by the generosity of your sharing with them and with others. While they long for you and pray for you because of the surpassing grace of God that he has given you, Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. May God bless the reading of his and hearing of his scripture. 